Hi, Nick Esposito here with the Esposito Strength Club. I uh, just kind of want to go over a new product that we've been using. Um, first off, they're not paying me to do it. Um, I bought this product myself. I just want to give my honest feedback on the uh, new velocity-based trainer called Open Barbell V3 from Squats and Science. Uh, so I was on this waiting list for probably like six, seven months. Um, once they said that they're going to be selling them, um, I was very fortunate to be able to get my hands on one. I'm pretty sure they sold out in under five minutes. Their website crashed with the amount of uh, people that were looking to purchase one of these. Um, so I'm very fortunate I was able to get my hands on it. Um, they're out of New York. They were able to ship it. It reached me like two or three days after I bought it up here in New Hampshire. Um, so this is the product. So open barbell V3, way smaller than I actually thought. Um, it's about you know not really too big there um, on the bottom is magnets and on the top has two buttons that let you cycle the sets that you work in lets you delete your sets if you're not using the app and then of course you have the tether um, and then you have a ball that you know keeps it from going in um, on the top here you have a USB charger and a power button up here which turns that on and off um, so the design of it, it's definitely, you know, straightforward. It, it, it sits anywhere. It's portable. Um, I can bring this with me anywhere I go. Um, I've already been using it in multiple different gyms, just seeing ease of portability um, as I've been testing it with a few different strength coaches, um, getting opinions and, and testing it with different types of athletes, different types of uh, sports, just so I have as, as many, um, as much metrics as I can to properly use this with our athletes working with um, Wasserman Strength in Austin over at, um, at his facility there. Um, so came with some accessories. It came with a charging cable, um, standard USB cord. Uh, you know, just throw it in your bag if you need to charge it. Um, comes with a uh, Velcro strap which goes around the bar. Um, I use this but I opted for a magnet piece that they also sell um, I think it was like 10 bucks or 15 bucks um, I like this guy a lot better than the strap it's just easier to use and it just clips right onto the bar it locks in place I haven't had any issues with it falling off and this part here spins um, so if you are doing Olympic lifts or the bar is going to be rotating in any manner um, this will stay right underneath the bar um, I haven't noticed anything different wise testing it with cleans or testing it with snatches um, or any of those types of Olympic lifts when the bar actually rotates compared to the strap. Um, I wasn't sure if there was going to be any delay or anything like that if this did move a little bit on the bar. Didn't notice anything on that. Um, battery life on this is something that um, so far has, has been awesome. Um, I received it with about 60-65% battery life. Um, I've been using it for about three weeks now, solid almost daily. Um, I've only charged it once. I let it get down to about 30% and um, I was actually, I, I charged it up. I actually went and tested this down at UMass Lowell with their hockey team. Uh, strength coach Devin McConnell is a great guy. Um, let me come in and test it compared to their gym wear. So I charged it up before I went into that. But you know, after testing it at UMass Lowell with their hockey team for about an hour um, and then lifting it, with lifting with it, um, you know, for a good hour of constantly being on, it only dropped from uh, 99% down to about 96, 95%. Uh, um, so the battery life on this is pretty awesome. Um, so how it works, um, I'm just going to turn this on so you can see how this works here. Try not to block too much. So when you turn this on, um, it kind of goes through a little power up mode and then you are ready to lift. Um, battery is up in the top corner um, and then as you pull the tether it's going to tell you your average. That big number there is the average. Um, all the way in the bottom which I do wish that is something that uh, can change over time. You can see, I'm going to get that out of the way there, you'll see peak velocity is that little one down at the very bottom. Turn that back on there. Um, so you'll see that down in the corner. Um, Small, small complaint, uh, just get the app. It's a free app, uh, which brings me into the next point. Uh, with the app being free, compared to other products where you have to 
have a specific number of athletes, um, and it's a different price range per month based on how many athletes you have, their app is free. Um, if you have a Gmail account, it works awesome. Um, I haven't had any issues with it. We were actually able to have uh, five or six different athletes working on this, doing um, deadlifts and um, doing some bench press numbers and getting some metrics down. Um, they were all able to go in and out, disconnect, connect their own phone to uh, the Bluetooth here, and it was seamless. None of them had any issues with rest time, like impacting their rest time or taking too long, uh, which is something that you know I was a little concerned about if we were going to have athletes do that, which when we tested it, we had no issues there. Um, so the app, so when you log into it, um, it lets you pick your metrics you're looking for. Uh, those are the metrics that I found that I want to see with my athletes. I want to see their their most recent rep, so their last rep, and their peak velocity. I want to know how much percentage loss they have. Um, so some guys might be getting tired. You're going to be able to see that. And then the uh, fastest ever recorded. So what that's going to look like um, on the app itself. So this is from the other day. That number up in the red circle there is my most recent rep from that set there. Uh, so it was moving at a 1.27. Throughout my set, I had a 5.3 percentage loss, and my um, fastest for that specific lift was a 1.5. So it gives me something to work to. It lets me see if I am getting a little bit tired, uh, which is definitely good for athletes to see and have an actual number um, for what they're training for. Um, instead of just trying to guess it out or using one around, which is still good ways to do it, but this is giving us a significant better option for our athletes. Um, so the app itself, some of the other metrics that you can go through here, um, you got all these different options, average sets, fastest ever, slowest ever, absolute loss. Um, you got a bunch of different options there, and you can tell it what you want it to look for. It's awesome to have all that stuff, and if you know what you're looking for, perfect. Use it if um, if you're not sure, you know, reach out. That's fine. But um, you know, those are the three that I've primarily been using um, when we've been testing our athletes. Um, one of the other benefits with the app here, I'm going to pull it up, is you're able to actually record a video of that lift. So as they're lifting, it's going to sync up to the data being provided. So if someone, you know, we had an athlete doing, um, you know, deadlifts, and when we noticed that there was a, a low number, like they were doing six reps and, you know, rep number four was low, we are able to go back and see that, you know, they started to lose their grip on rep number four, they reset down at the bottom, and then they got their last two reps at, at that higher number. So we were able to actually see, you know, all of a sudden that bar was losing grip, and that explained to us why that number was low as opposed to saying, oh, maybe they shifted one way or, or guessing. You know, we're, we're trying to eliminate guesswork, which, you know, the more we eliminate guesswork, the better we're providing for our athletes, the better we're providing for our lifting programs. So the other thing, too, is you can download your data. Um, it sends you a organized uh, Google Sheet, uh, which as a strength coach is awesome because I don't have to really decipher much. I don't have to add all these numbers into a spreadsheet. The app does it for me. And, you know, when the athletes are um, using their own phone, you know, one of the workarounds is we have to have them share that file with us, which they're fine with. They're right there in the weight room. So we just make sure that they're sharing the file so we have access to see what their numbers are as we're programming all their workouts. Um, so some of the other stuff that, you know, I wanted to talk about was, you know, I went down to UMass Lowell to... Um, test this. They have a gym aware down there, which is a, you know, a very expensive piece of equipment compared to this. This is about $200. Gym aware, if you get the iPad, you're looking close to $3,000. Um, so there, there's a big difference, but the app definitely on gym aware gives you more feedback. It's visually nicer. If you are, you know, just trying to find your own stuff and work your own, the phone, the app uh, through open barbell and squats and science works out awesome. Um, it just doesn't let you have any um, athlete like management or roster management for every athlete that you work with compared to gym wear, but you know, it's a $2,700 difference. So, um, when we connected this for, um, sake of keeping everything the same, uh, gym wear is a Velcro strap like so, uh, so that's how we connected, um, 
the open barbell. So on one side of the bar, they had gym wear. On the other side of the bar, we had open barbell. And they were doing hand cleans or uh, hang snatches, sorry. No issues. We had pretty much the same numbers throughout. Um, all the numbers were pretty much spot on. The only times that they did have some issues, you know, theirs may have read 0.31. This one may have read 0.30 or 0.29. So not enough for me to say, I can't use this. I can't trust this. Um, you know, as long as the data is consistent, that's, that's what mattered to me. Um, and let me know that, you know, we can move forward training our athletes with this and not have any issues, which, you know, we, we've tested some other stuff in house at Wasserman Strength. And, you know, some of them are the uh, collars that, you know, they sit on the edge of the bar, they got a Bluetooth sensor. Um, it, it was, you know, it, it be, became just collars that we use now for guys lifting. There's no, you know, we don't use it for VBT. The app was very difficult to use. Um, it would miss, you know, four out of 10 reps or six out of 10 reps. I even think at one point um, it spit out a negative number, which, you know, I don't know how someone can move something negative. So the app, you know, it, it just wasn't, wasn't a good option. Um, so that's why we were very excited when we got this. This is, you know, with the strap, gives you immediate feedback. Um, and we've, you know, moving forward, we're going to definitely be having a great um, experience for our athletes training with us. So, so one of the reasons why this is going to benefit, um, you know, our athletes that's, you know, going to have an impact for us is um, it gives them a metric. It gives them something to train for. Everyone always says give 100% or give 90% or, or, or be within this range. It's like you never know. Um, that's going to be purely based off that internal motor of that athlete. And we know athletes are very externally motivated. Um, you know, it's something that they need. So as we started to test our athletes, you know, with their numbers, we started noticing when we would hook this up, all of a sudden their numbers were higher you know, their speed was higher. They were doing the same exact weight and all of a sudden they're moving it faster as compared to when they didn't have this on there. Um, and that's something that, you know, is going to give us an immediate impact because these athletes now have something that's going to tell them, now you move that too slow or you've got too much weight on the bar or you don't have enough weight on the bar. Um, you know, it's going to let us know if they're tired that day or if they're not feeling right that day. It's going to give us a lot of uh, data that we can immediately use with them in between sets and even in between.